charred. Oh, that's nice. It just like comes right off. We don't need this where we're going. Manual. Oh, look at these cables. Ooh, yeah. Oh, it's a big ass charger. And there's a um, <clears throat> car charger in there too. This little unit. Oh. Let's see, does it have uh, any power? Output one watt. Should we try it right away or should we charge it first? <laughs> Here we go. I'm gonna leave the power bank as it is, 48%. Gonna kick on the AC. Probably should plug in the thing first, but anyway, I got one here on the test bench. Not gonna fire up a print, but I just wanna see if it even turns it on. Still at zero. And then let's hit the power button. Turned on 19 watts, 10 watts, it's booting up 13 watts. Damn, that's not bad at all. Well, you know, just because that's idle and stuff, but um, let me see. Okay, um, so let us heat it up to well, we'll just hit preheat PLA. We'll do both. 61 watts. 54. We got a fan kicking on. 312 watts pulling out right now. 47%. We're at 42 degrees Celsius on the hot end. This thing's handling it like a champ. Look at that. 303 watts. It's the only thing we got plugged in right now. 77 degrees Celsius. The bed's at 30 degrees Celsius. 299 watts. That's not bad at all. Getting close to the, we're at 100 degrees Celsius. 111, working our way up. 290 watts. This thing's handling it. We've been rolling for about three minutes. So, um, chat GPT says this should last for about five hours. So that should be pretty good time, but obviously we want to see something print on us. So I think a fair, a fair thing here would basically be to charge the power bank to hundred percent and get a print loaded and see, um, you know, basically how it does for the five hours. Can it hold? Will it be shorter, longer, uh, what? So let me go ahead and charge it. I'm sure it's gonna take a while and uh, we'll get that print going. All right, here we go. So we got the power bank fully charged up, 99%. I'm sure it hits 100, but I was excited. And we got the under three that I use for the craft booth. And let's go ahead and plug her in. And let's turn AC on and plug it in. Printer has power. Cool. Let me go ahead and get the filament loaded. All right, and the filament has been loaded to that end. Get the SD card in. Let's go ahead, kick off the test print. Uh, let's see, print from media and 3D Benchy print and then 
It's kicking up here, 340, 30 watts there. Gonna kick off the time lapse. There we go. It's going. It's gonna start homing. 30 watts, 40 watts. All right, I'll check back in with uh, when it's the first layer. All right, here we go, it's going down. Let's make sure we get the first layer dialed in. It just finish at an hour and 20 minutes and from 99% to 79% so definitely a hit on the battery especially if I'm looking to run it for multiple hours I feel like the print came out overall great with a little issues but that's not the battery's fault overall it came out pretty good enough for a display at a craft fair so definitely recommend getting a power bank to run a 3d printer so i just wanted to close up today's video and just let you know that the power bank that i bought the 1000 watt geniverse this guy did amazingly well throughout the day i was basically able to run i would say about five test prints and each test print was about an hour and a half long. I was doing benchies. So guys, that's, you know, about, I don't know, more than five hours. So chat GPT actually, um, you know, led me to believe that this will only last five hours. Guys, we still have 24% here. So I could probably get about another print and a half about. Um, and I did stop printing. The show was from uh, 10 in the morning and I started a print at like 9.50ish. Um, trying to conserve the battery so then you know that way before the show and then I think I stopped around 3 30 uh, because the show had ended at four o'clock so I wanted to but just make sure that you know by the time we pack up and everything the printer is done I'm not wasting filament and also just not wasting extra juice in here so guys if you are looking to buy a power bank and just see if it will you know run a 3d printer it will so go ahead and if you're running a craft booth if you live in a van anything you know that would be related to where you need a 3d printer and a remote solution this can do it so and i think what's really cool too is you could pair this you know with solar panels and be able to still like you know charge everything more because there's a few extra things that we wanted to run but just kind of nervous on how it would have handled and which it would have been fine um you know but being able to recharge this while you're using it you know in a scenario of like in a van life, right? Like if you park somewhere and you want to recharge, you can throw out your solar panels. Or if you were doing a street fair, you could just, you know, potentially put the solar panels out like on the back side of your booth and allow this to charge and run your 3D printer and as well as everything else. 
So again, if you're looking for a power bank, wanting to know if it will, if it will work, it will for sure. Um, I'm just not sure on the length of time. You'll have to you know, check that with what you print. But short things, a few hours, we'll definitely be able to handle it. So guys, thanks for watching. Check out the next video and I will see you then.